Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Necromunda Under Hive Wars. Today, we are continuing on our mission towards this Archaeotech that got uprooted in the storm. Uh, end of last episode, we found some Gilder chap with a big old pot belly who said he can guide us to it. So, let's see what's going on. There. Them's the ones that jumped us. But they've grabbed a hideout for the Gilder I told you about. All right. Surround them. Make sure they can't get away. And then we'll put that hideout down around their ears. And if you see that Gilder, don't put a scratch on him. Understand? I want to have a little chat with the fella. Oh, okay, so we're playing as these guys now. That's pretty cool. Okay, top right here, there are three damage types. Piercing damage, impact damage, and energy damage. Each weapon deals a single damage type. Armor values of a fight can be seen in tactical overlay, strategy view, or by aiming the reticle over them in the combat view. Oh, okay. So we're actually finally learning something a little bit more about these characters. So what's going on here then? Each armor piece provides a high protection against one damage type and a low protection against the other two. Okay, so that's this 50, 70 and 10. So the bottom one was the energy damage. One of them's a piercing damage. I can't remember what the other one is already. Okay, what about if we go into this M view? Okay, I see. 17, 24, 17. Okay, so then we need to figure out what type of damage we're doing with our guys. And put them towards the right um, enemy so we can do the right damage. Looks like we're all doing this explosion damage stuff. Oh no, that one's doing energy. We've got, we've got another unit over here. So it says we've got five. We've got one here. Oh, no one up top. Okay. Yeah, so all of them apart from about one. Oh no, this one here's got some energy damage as well. We've got one of each. God, this could take a while, couldn't it? Sort of lining every... Every one of your guys up with every one of them to make sure you're getting the right damage type. Okay, so what's our mission? Defeat Calria and end the Bane Cat's hideout perimeter. Optional objective, set traps to the west. The west? Where's any kind of compass reference point then? Aha, there we go. West. So, set traps to the west. That's an elevator. Oh, there we go. It says two. But I can only see one there. On another floor? No. I guess that's the, um, the area we've got to get into, this cog. That'll be the hideout perimeter. Oh, yes, yeah, so that construction, that building there, that's, that's a hideout, isn't it? It's are, no, it's someone else's reinforcement there is it's orange. So we've got to get to this trap here. So who's that? Vrexa. Vrexa's our best chance of getting to that trap there. So let's choose Vrexa first. Let's see if we can get to that trap. Or the location rather to set the trap.
Get in there and crush him, boys. All right. Let's just check what way is he facing. He's facing there, so we've got to shimmy around to our left a bit. I think. Yeah. Oh. And um, we're going the right way. Yes. I don't know how I'm going to get around there yet. Oh! Bloody. Bloody hell. But, um, that caught me out a bit. So we can't even get to the trap area from here. We're now stuck. I think I've gone a bit of a long route round, to be honest. I don't know what I'm going to do about that trap run. The zip lines there. Oh dear. Well, I guess we'll just kneel. That guy's already been shot at and he's pinned. So let's see if we can choose a different one. Let's take this Haugen dude. Yep, this one. He's got good eyes on everyone from here by lots of things. Eyes on that one. And that one. We've got no cover from here. Can I? Okay, I can't shoot there. I can shoot this one though. Let's go for the aim shot. Right, so what sort of damage we're doing? We're doing explosive damage, I think, aren't we? 65, 20, 20, 20, 0, 20. Let's go for this one. I did 10. a bit kneel in action. I think that's all we can do there. Let's just reload. So that's the chick we got to kill, I think. Calrea. Hiding in our hideout. Right, let's have a quick look on our map here, see who else is in a tactically tight position. These two are a bit out in the open. Oh, I think these are the only two left, aren't they? Oh, right, we can do this one. Who's this? Drex Eka. Drexica. This could be interesting. We take this route, go up that zip line, get into that little tunnel there. Okay, but is this dude as well? She can have a pop at us first. Oh, that's interesting. I certainly didn't lay no traps there. She just walked into their own traps, possibly. on anyone to shoot just yet. Has this guy just got a couple of hand flamers? He does. He's not even going to be able to see anyone, even if I could get through there. 
he's not going to reach anyone. His rain's pretty pants. Hmm. Let's keep him here. He'll be in a, a much better position on the next go. as well. He's not going to last long, is he? Bugger. This guy needs to go help out. Where are they all? Pretty much dead ahead. If there's anyone else that's going to shoot us. Whoa. Right, so let's see what damage we're doing. We're doing this explosive type damage. 17% on her, 18% on her. So it's not really much different. Let's go for this one. Uh, we've got 50 action points. Let's do this one. Let's see if we can get better damage on one of the limbs. 10% on all of them apart from the head. Alright, it's pretty good though. We do get a bit of kneeling action. And that's him. Ganging up on this dude, aren't they? Poor Vrexa. Oh no, blood for. Again for the other guy. I've already got him down to half health. Damn. We got in our inventory. We've got a brute cleaver. I don't know if I have a go at that or not. What type of damage we're doing? We're doing energy damage. So she only takes 17. 36, that's more like it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just take a normal shot. That went really well, didn't it? Disengage here. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Does the map reveal any type of chests that we can try and loot for supplies? No. Stand ourselves up. Who have we already put damage into? It's Moeni. So we just have another pop at her. Yeah. We've got 25 action points left. So let's see if we can do something here.
cool. Got a little drop kick in there and everything. I think that's all we're going to be able to do, isn't it? Let's do this entrenched aura thing. I'm sure it's going to help our other troops somewhat. Uh, yeah, I think I'll select this guy. I suppose we haven't have any meds on us. No, not at all. Um, should we call the elevator or maybe get They've some higher ground chem here? Lab in here? Find it. Chem lab. Cool. I shall have a look then, sir. Let me out. Must be the gilder. Find the key. What's that? Get this door open. No, that's nothing. Gotta find a key. Search defeated enemies for a key. Okay. Why is this all floating orange? Flashing orange. Can't have a cheeky look before we walk in. So there's a chem lab about. It should have some meds in it. Definitely doesn't seem to be anything down this direction, right? Alright, let's go up a level. Get a little bit of height on here. We can see many of them. See our quarry there. Can't get a shot on them. We're too far away. Oh, we're going to have to go back down, aren't we? Oh, and that's it. I've used all my movements up. Oh, blimey. This is really... very much a different sort of game to what I'm used to, I'll tell you. This is really weird. I think it's probably going to take me a good playthrough just to get everything sussed out. So that's what I want to do, get some high ground. Get a good shot in. Bugger. Is that blip for dead? It didn't sound very good. health. I think she was not it? Let's hope that we kill her with this little strike. Yep, cool. Saving us some action points. Last cannon. Can't equip that. We could take one of those spud jackers though. We'll only take one. So then we've got some action points left over here. I think we've got ten. Oh, we've only got ten. Well, if we just get close here. That's gonna get us um to the point she's gonna have to disengage from us at least. 
Got nail? Yeah, let's get some nail on. like a med station in there that second floor I see we can get get one of my guys in there no. bit of walking on spot action good stuff what are you up to end of turn cool Bet we still can't. Oh, we can shoot. Anyone else we can see? Yeah, let's get this one here. Can we do a death from above? No. Guess what damage we're doing? We're doing this explosive damage 10, 45, 0, 45, 10. What's the torso? 10. So let's do an arm. 76, that's a good shot. Only got 10 action points left. So I think we'll just get back behind here. Give a reload. This guy's in a pretty good spot for the moment. He's got the range on him. Now we've got a pipe boy. Jump down there. No, down there. Aha, choose target. I see. Torch the lab, boys. We ignite all these bits. I do. Scorching smell of cool. revenge. We still get you some action me, points Tetra? left. I'm only getting started. Got punch bags or punch cans while looks of things, a lot of all drums. Cool, that's sneaky. Good little bit of evasion though, sir. Uh, so I can't move anywhere now. She's pinned me. She's pinned me rather. Can I shoot her? Too far away, too far away. Have I got another gun? No, no guns with more range. Um, so let's just get into Neil, I guess. Any of them over there? No. Cool, we'll just chill here. We've got that lab torch, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure the next floor down, we're going to find ourselves some meds. Let's check down here. Do another aimed shot. Keep working on this left arm. Yeah, she's nearly down now. That's cool. Um, let's do that. We still know. Yeah, we still know. Oh, what's all this? Mark a target. Field scan, dude. Let's do the field scan. Nothing's really made obvious. I guess it buffs us a little bit. I must say, I'm a little bit disappointed at the lack of um, sort of tutorial letting you know about all these different buffs 
and debuffs and whatnot. And what third mission in now? And a bit oblivious to um, a lot of the stuff in these characters. She's coming for me. Or is she not? So I think you can res your fighters with adrenaline stems or something. So I've got to try and find some of that. I think I will select this guy actually. What's going on here? How many attacks can you make? Hmm. Right, she's just there. Now, I don't want to be wasting time trying to get her right now because I don't need to kill her. So I'm just gonna leave that little trap for her. Sabotage these dispensers. Don't leave anything standing. Use dispenser. No. Oh, I was hoping to pick up some supplies from it really. Okay, well I know it's there, so I've gotta get my I think I've got one more unit that's quite weak. We have to get them in there. Where are the others? All around this somewhere. There we go. Burn. I wonder if I can get round here. Yeah. So I can get a little nail action on the go. Let's reload. Um, yep, select this guy. Okay, so we've got to disengage. This guy's on his last legs. We need to get him up to this med station. Cool. He's a bit more healed up now. Is that one? No. Um, but other chick's right above us there, isn't she? I bet we can't get up here. Can we see her? No, we've only got five action points anyway. We're not going to do anything, are we? Just kneel somewhere then, I guess. But at least he's healed up. Not fully, but he's, he's back in the fight. I've got to skip a turn here because I've, I've lost one.
Do I just shoot her from up here? Or do I jump down? I think I'm going to have to jump down above lots of things. Oh, bugger. Another one of them. Right, so we can't get down to that platform. Oh, we might be able to shoot her. No? Why can't we shoot her? Yep, yeah, we can shoot the other one that was on the floor. Bit gutted, I can't choose to jump onto this platform either. There we go. Hello, love. And 23. That was some awesome damage. More like it. And we should be able to give her a little club with this. Why didn't that equip? Equip. God, how's she still alive? Brilliant. Brilliant. Nearly gone. She just needs a little tickle. Can do run away. She's not backing down from the fight. Good girl. She only needs the little tickle, doesn't she? Let's quickly disengage. I don't really want to use 30 points on her. Let's just do a little hack. Weak. You don't belong in the underhive. Got a key? Yes. Thank you for your key. I'll take the other lads pistol as well. Can't pick up well we can pick up the chainsaws, but I can't equip them so there's no point. Uh okay, so I guess now we can go towards um the door to get the, the chap out. Get close to Benoshigar. So let's see if we can get in here just for a little bit of cover. Go on, let me in the door. Yes. Sneakily avoiding my trap. Cheeky. wounded in that again. So let's see if we can... Oh, can't use the dispenser. Why not? We've got 20 action points. Maybe because I've already used it. Oh, great. Shadow watch. Um, who's got less health? Maybe you. What damage are we do and explosive damage? Do an aimed shot on her. Sixty-five, nice. Yeah, let's go for that left arm. Oh. 
do that again. Oh, fat. Let's do a normal shot. Crap. Oh, I can't make melee contact with her. Apparently, I can't make melee contact with her either. But I'm right next to her. My rings are touching. I've got 15 action points, so I should still be able to chop with my axe. Why isn't it letting me attack any of them? Target's too close. So well, that's because I've come in for melee combat. But you're not letting me. Okay, I'm just going to have to take another shot. That's a bit pants. Because he's probably going to die now. Well, let's get him all the way out. Put down here with this dude. It's really puzzling why I couldn't do that combat. I think is this the only two they've got left here? What gun did we have? Average damage per attack, piercing, 72, 67. Let, let's equip our piercing gun. I assume it's a two-handed thing, yep. Um, yeah, we'll do a normal shot, I think. There you go, that's her down. Last gun. Yeah, I'll have that. I'll have one of them as well, thank you. So we've got only got ten points left on this guy. So what can we do tactically? Reload weapon. Yep, that'll do. Search my body. Oh, I can. Okay, that's interesting. We've got guy that's got the key, so that's good. Shall we take. Oh no, we've got an axe. We've already got a cleaver. We can take his other one though, couldn't we? We can put one in each hand. Let's do that. Let's just check. That's 33 average damage. This is 35. So let's go for some of that. Quick right hand. Thank you. Cat bitch. There you go, it's gonna let me do melee attack on her. Let's do another one of them, I think we can. Oh, can I can only do it one handed, but it's still alright. Cool, so she's nearly down.
gutted she hasn't set that trap off. It's right on her feet. So what do all these things do? The entrench, the field scan. There's nothing that tells you what any of this actually does. Not that I've noticed anyway. If any of you guys know what the score is, I'd, I'd love to know. Too much, did it? So what's going to deal the most damage here? That's 36, 31. Yeah, we're only going to be able to afford a one-handed strike anyway, so there's no point switching the other weapon out. A dropkick combo. Nice left run. Bugger all. So annoying. So close. She's nearly got him. He's gonna go now. Fargo. Skip turn, I guess. Doesn't seem like they've skipped any turns. Which is weird. guys we got left is it just one yeah I think I've only got one guy left crap and he's nearly dead this is not going well is it I might even gonna be able to get down the floor because they're on the bloody stairs I have to do some sneaky jumping stuff, aren't I? Possibly. So I want to see if I can get this guy healed up. You guys are enjoying this. I fully appreciate, but I'm doing pretty pants at the moment. I am doing my best to try and figure this out and learn along the way. So it's not let me melee attack with her again. Which is absolutely miserable. Get our bolt gun back out, I guess. Ammo. Not enough points to reload. I've just gone down to one. This one, we're down to one each. Definitely not cool. Select fighter. Well, I guess I'll use this guy. Hasn't she just had the turn? Just shoot her. Do I try and do combat? Oh, for some reasons. Oh, I've got to reload, haven't I? Uh -huh. Reload. 
if I say it's not letting us attack her. Um, let's do this one. And then hopefully we can have enough points here to equip a gun, a uh, sword even. Oh, a melee weapon, whatever. And get in here and batter her. But didn't kill her. How has she got... How is she still alive? She got like three HP. Oh, crap sticks, man. This game is definitely not a walk in the park, I tell you. Blimey. I'll get my turn first this time. Nice. Decisive. I wouldn't call that a decisive victory, but I did win. Absolutely abysmally. That Escher harpy got me to a new hideout, as promised. And then locked me up with no fracking air. Until I was liberated. This is how I met Bloodfall. Gang leader to those unfortunate Goliaths that Tessera had so callously ambushed. Bloodfall already grasped that there was a vast fortune of Archaeotech to be won. I helpfully suggested he might still catch up with Tessera by using a nearby train. With a Bloodfall or Tessera won the prize, I'd get my cut. Cheeky, playing both sides off trying to stay neutral well i hope you enjoyed that one guys like i said earlier i appreciate it, but i'm still definitely learning the ropes of this game uh, it's not like my mechanicus playthrough where i fully understood the game and its mechanics uh, so i hope you're patient with us any tips you can chuck us greatly appreciate it but i do quite enjoy figuring everything out as we go along so i hope it's not too boring for y'all um leave us a like and a sub if you did like it leave some comments would be great stay tuned for the next one in the meantime enjoy the rest of your day take care